Hey guys, Merum here from Cryptolium. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, just thought I'd make a video. It's been a while. Um, we've been busy working on a lot of things. First of all, I hope everyone had a good Christmas and a great new year. And, um, you know, to another great year of crypto, you know, let's trade safely and, you know, let's all make some decent money. Now, um, looking at the new features that we've sort of provided in Cryptolium, there's actually been quite a few over the past few weeks. So I guess um, one of the first ones that I'll show you is the cryptocurrency table of movement. So we'll go into here. Now, what this page will do is it will actually give you um, the top 300 cryptos that we're tracking right now through Cryptolium. And it will basically give you stats, you know, such as what's the five minute change in Bitcoin price, um, you know, volume. And then we do that for the 15, 30 minute, four hour and the one day candles. <laughs> Now, what we've made a bit different here is that we've also added um, RSI to the side. So this doesn't exist anywhere on any websites or, you know, any sort of platforms, analysis tools. So it's something that we've brought out first and, you know, given to you guys. So what you can actually do, you know, you can come in here and you can click on any of these titles and you can sort. So if I sort by RSI, um, you know, what's being the most overbought right now, we can take a look at ADX. So... If you look at ADX in here, um, you know, it's got pretty decent stats um, around. So it looks like it's been, you know, pumping. For example, Quant Stamp as well. You know, it's all it's all greens here. Um, other than the one day volume has dropped a bit. But overall, the price and volume has been going up recently. Now, what we can do is, for example, we can take a look at ADX on Bitrex. So I'm just going to go to ADX. Now... What we'd expect to see is, you know, some movement happening here for this crypto um, on Bitrex. So if we go in here and we look at the stats today, okay, so it has been going on a run. So, you know, by us looking at the cryptocurrency table of movement, we can actually go in and see which cryptos are moving right now. Sort of, if you sort of buy the most overbought, you, you'll obviously get the ones that are getting the most sort of amount and price sort of being pumped in it. So, you know, you could sort by what's currently oversold. So Bitcoin Cash, um, you know, the RSI is below 30. And if we look at the five minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes volume and price, we can see that it actually is getting some traction. So it might actually be a good time to go in and buy some Bitcoin Cash and, you know, just wait until it hits an over overbought marker again, let's say 70 or close to 70 if you want to stay safe. Um, and, and this can be used for some, you know, quick day trades, some quick, you know, snipe trades. Um, so it's basically a tool for you to see a consolidated view of everything that's happening in the market right now and then sort by these metrics that are used every day by traders. So basically it's, it goes back to the goal of Cryptolium. We just want to make sure that people can save time every day in trading. And that was the whole purpose of the app. So, you know, instead of you having to go up and chart, 200 different coins on TradingView or your favorite exchange or wherever you do do it, you can come in here, you know, look at a table such as this and know what's happening straight away. All right, so that's pretty much it for the, you know, table of movement. And it's a great little page and great tool to use. I, I use it myself, um, you know, as I pretty much do with everything else on the app. That's why we made it. Um, so the next thing that I'll show you guys is the exchange summaries. So if you look at these five here, we've got Binance, Bitfinex, Bitrix, HitBTC, and Polonix. Now, what these mean, and if you see these little tags that we've added recently, this sort of helps people to understand um, what each page on the graph app does. So exchange specific means that we are connected directly with this exchange through their API. And this is the direct data that we're getting from the exchange APIs. So if we look at Bitrix, for example, here, now, what we can see and what makes this very great, so it's similar to the table of movement, but what this page actually does is it gives you the stats for, for Bitrix only. The table of movement will give you complete coin movement across, you know, the entire world, like the entire market cap, so you'll know what's moving regardless of where it is, which is a great indicator itself. But this is if you really want to drive specifically down into an exchange. So, you know, right now we're looking at um, Bitrix only. 
So now what buyers and sellers means, so this is the main purpose of this page and why it was created. The buyer and sellers means how many people are buying this right now or recently and how many people are selling it. So if we look at Bittrex, um, right now at the top, we've got 50, close to 56% buyers on ADA Cardano. So if we go back to um, Bittrex and we we'll take a look at ADA, we'll just see what's going on here. So, you know, this coin has been getting a lot of, a lot of hype recently. Um, so right now we're being told that there are buyers on ADX. So we might want to look at a shorter view as the buyer seller percentages are basically cl very close to real time. Um, you know, they get updated every, every five minutes. So, um, if we look in the order book now, um, basically what it means is we're looking for the buyers at the closest mark possible. So we don't want to uh, focus too much on the buyers that are going to be buying it, you know, 10,000 sats um, before 10,000 sats, you know, after. Basically, we want to find the buyers that are buying it now, that, you know, money is being put into it now. Um, and with Bitrix, we're able to do this. So, you know, there is a lot of buyers in the short term here. So what you can do with this is basically use it just as an indicator. So, you know, if we're looking at it now, okay, we're seeing that there is buyers on ADA, but you should pull it up on the exchange and see where it's going. So another one that was doing good was uh, Stellar Lumens. So we can take a look at that one as well. Now in here, so we can see, you know, it's been getting some great action lately and it's still got buyers. So we might want to take a look at the order book and just see what it looks like in here. So, oh, you know, this looks like a great buy wall. You know, there's a lot of buying activity going on in the early sats and versus the amount of people selling. This looks like it could go for a movement soon. So, you know, at the same time, this is always fluctuating, as you understand. Um, but that whole point of this page was created was to basically give you guys live order book statistics of who's buying and who's selling what coin. And now you'll notice that the blocks here are orange. So now if you take a look at the key that I, we've put in here, red equals dangerous position. So probably not the best time to buy um, because the, the sellers outweigh the buyers. Orange basically means between 50 to 75%. So orange basically means take a look at it, um, you know, see what's going on, um, you know, see the previous price action, see where the charts currently are, are people buying it, um, you know, basically it's, it's positive, but it's not saying that it's getting pumped. It's not saying that people are going crazy on it and buying it. Um, you know, like we saw with Bitcoin cash, um, before, you know, Litecoin, you know, ripple, whenever they went on those runs, you would have seen them in the green position. So the green position is the good position. Now when it's in a green position, um, on buyers, that means a lot of people are buying this coin. So definitely something that you need to take a look at and see, um, you know, how that's going. So, um, you know, that's really specific to Bitrix because with the Bitrix API, we can actually look at the short term. We can see sort of the, the close range here in the center and um, be able to see that there's currently a lot more buyers um, than there is sellers or vice versa. Now, Another example, if we looked at Binance, now Binance, we might see in here that, you know, we've got 75, over 75% buyers on ADA. So on Binance, there would be a lot more people buying uh, Cardano right now. Um, now, the thing is with every other table in, in Cryptolium that does buyer and seller percentages, Bitrix is the only one that looks at the complete close range. So if we've got over 75% on Binance, then, you know, you should pull it up and see really how that activity is looking. 75% is, is a very good indicator, but just make sure that it doesn't look like that there's a huge buy wall going in, you know, like 10,000 sats. Um, if it drops 10,000 sats, then there's a huge buy wall there. Um, you know, you, you want to just take a look at the order book and just see the gap. If the buyers are definitely in the close range, you know, he, um, put in the center and a lot of people are buying it right now, then this can be used as a great indicator to tell where the market's moving right now. So basically what this does is instead of you having to find out free news or find out 
through people or you know pulling up an exchange looking at all these coins you can look at one consolidated view in here and sort buyers and sellers see who's buying it see who's selling it and then you can also click anything else in here you know we can sort by five minute um, Bitcoin movements so which one's moving the most so we've got ARN you know it's done for 4.27 percent increase in Satoshi and the buyers are you know close to 60 so this could be a great coin um, to get into now you just have to pull it up and take a look on the exchange and see if it's a good time to come in now in a fast paced moving crypto environment tools like this are really useful in order to get into the market early and find out what's going on and we're actually also doing specific um, RSI for these exchanges as well which we'll add to the side here after similar to the um, the table of movement like we had here so if we looked at the table of movement how we have these RSI's that will come into the exchange specific ones with the buyer and sellers soon as well so that's these ones here so these are um, pretty much sort of the new tools that we've put in so um, that's what we've been working on in the past two weeks or so so I just thought you know that I'd show you guys you know what's going on with that and um, basically you know where we're going and you know the kind of things that we're focusing on basically just want to save everyone's time and get people in here and, and make things a lot easier for them well I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll plan to release some more things soon and we'll keep you guys updated on how that's going Oops, sorry about that.